So here's the chicken. It is so good. Welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Kate Wamboko and today we're doing, as you can see from the title, we're doing a meal prep with me video because my mom and I are meal prepping for an, uh, about 12 people every meal for about a month. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be filming in this video. Just some behind the scenes of, you know, what we're doing. The biggest struggle with this is that you don't use spices because a lot of people here the stomachs don't agree with spices so that's been a challenge because i love to use spices but i've been seeing it as a like a challenge like can you really make food without spices and have it taste really nice so i'm trying to think out of the box um, to get a really good result but without having to use too many additives on the menu today is chicken which has been marinated in garlic and ginger which is basically the only the only spices we can use i thought i would braise it so this is what i'm gonna use to braise this is celery this is one onion it's so large and then carrots and i'm gonna add a bit of vinegar to it just to cut through the the fat of the chicken and then these are going to be the burgers these are usually boiled <laughs> i know that's strange but that's what they prefer you boil them and then when they're done you just dress them in mayonnaise and um what is it called uh olive oil and then this is not a good angle and then we're gonna do rice as well oh my gosh there we go and then we're gonna do rice as well and then fries my mom is preparing the potatoes okay. so what we usually do is you stick to your strengths my strengths i'm very good with meat so i'm gonna do the chicken and then mom is gonna do the rice and the fries then i'm also going to do the burgers and we're done for lunch is it clean So in order to give the chicken some flavor, I decided to braise it. It had already been marinated in garlic and ginger. And um, what you do when you're braising chicken or braising anything is you first brown it in some oil. Just brown it to give it some color. Um, you don't have to cook it all the way through. You just cook it in very high heat. And then after that, we'll cook the mixture of celery, onions, and carrots in a saucepan. Just enough that they are soft, but they don't brown. You shouldn't brown them. And then we add back in the chicken so that you can cook together. And then after that, we'll add in our water. If you have broth, you can just add broth. But I don't have any, so I'll add water. And then we bring that to the boil and cook it until the chicken cooks through. So you can see, these are all the fries we are cooking. And then we are cooking them. We are supposed to cook them in this pan. On this jiko. But it's really impractical because it will take forever to cook them on this pan. That's why we have this young little miss bringing us a large pan. We just got our pan from home so that we can cook 
a batch min of mini at a time. This is it. Hi, Nani. Hi. This is my sister. Yeah. 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 Look how cute. I ended up cooking the rice. Um, we've been cooking turmeric rice um, almost every day. So what you do is just uh, fry some onions. Uh, once they are fried through, add in your rice, your turmeric, your salt, and then cook that together for about five minutes or until the rice starts shikaing the bottle. And then add in your water and you're done. And by you're done, I mean boil it until it's cooked through like you normally would and yeah it will come out nice and yellow and delicious <laughs> wow you are such a hard worker <laughs> yeah the fries as usual usually add raw onions so that they have the onion flavor just waiting for this to work out So I boiled the chicken for about 30 minutes, give or take, just to make sure that it had all cooked through. And then by the end, I noticed that the broth was a bit too thin. So I just made a slurry with um, some wheat flour and water and added it in. Boiled that for about five more minutes and um, the sauce, I mean the broth thickened and I took it out of the heat. So here's the chicken. It is so good. So I've just turned off the heat. I've added a bit of celery leaves as garnish and we are done with that. So I'm just going to put this in a hot pot. We have like 20 minutes until lunch is served. So awesome. I wasn't able to take a shot of the whole meal, but um, you've seen the chicken, you've seen the fries, um, you've seen the rice. Um, you've seen them all separately and then this one the boiled vegetables um usually do cook this you just boil them until they are really soft because that's what they prefer and then it's dressed in mayonnaise and olive oil but you just dress it depending on what you prefer you just dress it on your plate so yeah that's the whole meal the chicken and the fries because of adding in the onion yeah. it's so good um, so we ended up not cooking supper that day because the lunch we cooked the rice and chicken was so much so it was just eaten as supper On the menu today we have turmeric rice with garnished with carrots and peas uh -huh. and then chickpeas oh, oh, uh, they're so delicious yeah. the chickpeas and then the usual boiled veggies 
This one's already done. And then we have beetroot that's boiling that will be put here. I'll show you how we'll do that. And then we have fruit as well. So we've already done okay, mama's already done lunch. So I'm gonna prepare supper. It's it's still not lunch time, but since it's egg, we're cooking egg curry. Mm. But it's really spicy. The combinations are too dramatic and see a garlic in a tomato. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so we are creating we are doing an egg egg in sauce, like eggs in purgatory type thing. So I'm gonna prepare that so that we leave early today. This is how the salad turned out. Um unfortunately I wasn't there in the morning, so I wasn't able to learn how mom cooked this chickpeas because they were absolutely delicious. I think she just kangered them with the kawaida onion um tomato carrots situation but the tip i will give you is when you're boiling them make sure you salt them so that they absorb that flavor so that when you're frying them they're already flavorful you're not having to add flavor while you're frying them We have a lot of tomatoes here because I don't know how many they are, I don't remember, but it's a lot because it's a tomato based dish. Then that is garlic. Then we have carrots over here as well. These are the eggs. I didn't do a good job of boiling them very well because some of them have don't have the egg white like this one. Yeah, and then the only spice we're gonna use is bay leaves to help with the soup. So I'm frying some onion over here and then we add the garlic and everything else. Cook it down for a bit. We're going to cook it down for a bit and then we boil it, we blend it with some water so that we keep a sauce and then come put it back into the saucepan with bay leaves and cook it down to create a rich tomato sauce and then put, put in the eggs back. Here's how it turned out. It looks so good. So beautiful. And then that will be had together with this rice from earlier. And the leftover chickpeas. Yeah. 
That's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I think we're just gonna head home. Um, cooked everything that we needed to, and we are back at this on Monday because this is Friday. So, thank you so much for watching, and catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>